Hi, I'm Annette Runcy, CEO of Panache Eurosoul Restaurant and Lounge. So excited to have launched and premiere the Dash of Panache cooking show. Yes, so excited about that. We are busy editing and creating new recipes and new episodes, but we wanted to give you all an opportunity to see the first premiere episode again. So we will be running that again. So hope you enjoy it. Here's to a Dash of Panache. Welcome to A Dash of Panache, a journey with my friends and family to explore this unique cuisine called Eurosoul. What is Eurosoul, you ask? Well, it is a fusion of Mediterranean, Caribbean, and soul food flavors. Now, doesn't that sound delicious? Well, come and join me as we look into this very unique cuisine. Hello and welcome to Dash of Panache show. I'm just so excited about this show. We are gonna take you on a journey with my friends and my family into this wonderful world of Eurosoul cuisine. Well, today's episode is all in the family and I'm excited that all my family are here today on our first episode. My name is Annette Runcy and I will be your host. My son over here, Chef Extraordinaire, yes. <laughs> <laughs> will be my co-host. And um, of course, let me introduce the rest of my family, would be my husband, Titus Runcy. Hi, good afternoon, welcome. Uh, what I do at Panache is jack of all trade, master of none, help where I needed to be helped, kitchen, bathroom, whatever, bar, whatever it is, cooking, cleaning, we're here to make your experience a pleasant one. All right, all right, all right. And so, as we always say, what do we call him, Kimani? A, a renaissance man. That's Does right. everything. But you could probably stay out the kitchen a little more, but you know, that's the... <laughs> 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 yes, absolutely. We, we know as small business owners, we always have to wear many hats. So we always excited to, to have him do whatever he needs to do to keep the business going. All right, over here I have my son, my oldest son, Keanu Runcy. Tell him what you do in the business. So what I do is uh, manage the employees that come through the business as well as help with any te technical difficulties with like the POS system and any all the computer troubles as well as help run the books with my, with my mom. And I'm basically here to help my parents' business grow and elevate to the next level. All right, that's right, that's right, because our business is your business. This is about creating that legacy for the family, and so that's why it's so important to us to have us, the entire family, working in the business. All right, so what are we gonna do today? Well, today's, what we have on our menu today to make is our salmon croquette as our appetizer, and um, what do you think about the salmon croquette, Keanu? Not my personal favorite, but I like it. All right, all right, all right. However, it's the customer's all-time favorite, right, Kimani? Yeah, they be ordering that like all the time, like every day. I do at least like what, like five to ten orders all the time. Like it's yeah. running out of like the kitchen. <laughs> that is correct. And then, of course, our entree item that we will be making today will be what, Kimani? The pistachio crusted lamb chops. Mm. So delicious. Our um, what a rack of lamb that we cut and then we season. We, um, we pretty much roast them in the oven right. with like some mustard and some pistachios to create a nice succulent lamb. So we are excited to show you that. Um, that is such a staple as that's definitely a key Eurosoul item on our menu. And so we have our croquettes, which we'll be showing how to make. And we have our lamb, which will be our am, uh, uh, entree item, a pistachio crusted lamb chop. And of course, to top it all off, we have our drink that we're gonna have our signature drink. 
And what is that, my dear? So our signature cocktail is called Panache Dash. And it's a beautiful, and we show you from scratch how to make it and all the ingredients that the only place you can find it is Panache with a dash. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank my family for being here and being part of our very first episode. So guess what? Let's get cooking. Welcome again. We are here um, making our salmon croquette, as we said. So our appetizer for today that we will be showcasing is our salmon croquette. I have with me my son Kimani and my son Keanu that's going to be helping me out in, in preparing. So the prepping of any meal is the most crucial part. So we have the salmon over here. Already baked off, seasoned with uh, salt and pepper. Okay. In the oven for like about 10 minutes. Great, 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 great. So what else do we have here, my son? We have some red and green peppers, a lemon, mayonnaise, breadcrumbs, and our um, like house blend seasoning. Oh, great, 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 great. So the salmon croquette, so you could go ahead and... and, and yeah, so we're gonna start off by, how can you like, put on some gloves first. I have gloves on already. Okay. And then just like shred it. Use your hands and like pretty much like break it up and put it in a bowl. <laughs> break Hello. it up. <laughs> break it up, remember? And okay. while he's doing that, I'ma cut uh, these green red peppers. All right, so while you do that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the salmon croquettes and why we chose this um, for our, you know, for our appetizer today. So salmon croquette, you know, um, originate actually we thought about doing codfish cakes because that is such a, a a great thing in the caribbean like we have you know we make codfish balls you know um in jamaica all the time and so as we start to think about euro soul we said mm, well you know in the mediterranean uh we they use a lot of like salmon fish and salmon is like very very key in you know mediterranean mediterranean meals and so we said, okay, so why not use salmon instead of a cod, you know, instead of codfish. And so uh, we didn't want to call it like codfish balls, you know, or codfish cakes. So what it really is, is croquettes, really nice croquettes. And so that's how this salmon croquette came about. Uh, we're going to be in putting a lot of like vegetables that, you know, from the Caribbean, southern vegetables, seasoning. I know as part of um, the salmon croquette so that's how the whole euro soul comes into play in this salmon croquette uh, so as you can see my son oh yeah you got skills huh huh you got I mean, that's what you paid money for <laughs> oh, okay that's right that's right i like to see that uh-huh so you chop it out so for for for, um, for this portion of salmon we're just doing maybe a half of peppers that we'll be chopping up uh, red and green peppers. It doesn't that look nice and colorful. The preparation, as my son said, he we, we um, you uh, our salmon basically is wild caught salmon, Atlantic salmon. You know, we try to get the freshest salmon, and you basically actually the ends of the salmon are the best parts for the croquettes. So a lot of times when we we, we serve salmon at panache. And so a lot of times what we do is we cut the pieces, you know, the seven ounce pieces to be served and the ends is what we take to make the salmon croquettes. So there's, there's no waste in the salmon. So the ends of the salmon, the, the thin part of the salmon, is actually the best part for the salmon croquettes. And then of course, as my son said, we put it in the oven. How long we put it in there? To about 10 minutes. You know, we season and put it in the, in the oven for about 10 minutes to uh, just lightly um, cook it to get that nice um, crust on the top. All right, so what else we, what else we have over there? You know, we have the, the, what, the lemon? Yes, we have the lemon which we're gonna juice and zest and put in with uh, the salmon. Okay, great, all right. So that's another prep item that we have to do is uh, juice and zest our lemon. Uh, I'd like to try that. You wanna get the juices out. So just roll it, put it in half, makes life so much easier. I love this one, All right, getting all that nice 
nice lemon juice. Wow, that does make things easier, doesn't it? Yeah. In the old fashioned ways that we used to do, <laughs> squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. <laughs> None of that here, a tune. Too, too <laughs> <laughs> got a lemon juice. Make sure there's no seeds. As you can see, there's some seeds. Yes, okay. I wanna try to get it out of the lemon juice. And That's then... right. No problem. Our, our, we're used to cooking with our hands, you know? So that's the bottom. Here we go. Oh, Keanu, oh, you yeah. really, really? <laughs> all right, should it be that small? It's yes, okay? It should, okay, yes. all right. Nice and shredded. Okay. So, one like this, so when we end up adding on ingredients, it, um, you know, more easy to mold and will keep its shape better once it is cooked. Saute salad. Oh, the light looks so good. Oh, look at that colorful. And then, can you mix that piece? <laughs> <laughs> Comedian, I got, you know. Comedian over there. Alright, that. I'm gonna add a few pinches of seasoning. Mm hmm. And by the way, that's like a mixture of like a... Yeah, it's our house blend, salt, pepper, a bunch of other ingredients that if we told you we have to kill you. <laughs> now, we're gonna add some lemon juice. Now, make sure it's all incorporated. That's quick. <laughs> you're not kneading, okay? You're mixing. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Okay, good, 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 good. So now I'm gonna add some mayonnaise. <laughs> You're having too much fun over there, Keanu. <laughs> Alright, now mix that in. <laughs> Alright. Looks like you got this covered. I don't need to be here. That's right, looks like you got this good. So why are we putting panko in it? Cause when like the mayo right. mixes with the um, panko, it makes like... It makes it stay together, yeah, right? Yeah, it makes it stay together and moldable. Right, so when and we... And it does so it doesn't like... We're frying this, so it, we don't want it to like disappear in the fryer. That's right, that's right. You know, like um, when we do our the Caribbean codfish cake or balls, we use flour, you know, we use panko, but we use panko here because of course, it's the whole Mediterranean feel, it's the lighter, it's, you know, lighter, lighter and healthier um, option than the flour. So, yeah, we just, you, you just keep pouring in um, the right amount of um, panko so that the panko kind of soaks the, the mayonnaise and it comes together so that you're able to form. You will have the right ingredients for the amount of pounds of salmon that you're making. Um, so it goes by the amount of pounds of salmon you're making, then you'll have the right amount of panko, right amount of mayo to actually put in it to get the right consistency. Okay. <laughs> All right, Keanu. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's let's start to make the croquettes. All right. So um, Keanu. Mm -hmm. Come on, grab, so grab. grab. 
Follow your brother instructions. Like this, like a little ball amount. And then with the palm of your hand, just start rolling. Okay. And then shape a nice little ball and roll it. kitchen uh, my wonderful chef Kimani Runsi my son is cooking up our appetizer so we're pretty much flash frying the croquettes before we put them in the oven so we're just frying them to get some color and then finishing them off in the oven so they could cook fully through. to prep the lamb, you know, which is our entree for today. And so I'm gonna have my son show what we got. So, um, what kind of lamb is that? Uh, rack. Right, so um, lamb is very much um, made frequently in the Mediterranean, in Morocco, especially when we visited Morocco, right? We, there's a lot of options of lamb, all different type of lamb. Uh, we here at Panache, we love the rack of lamb because of its presentation, that the way that it looks. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit spicy, I mean, actually it's pricey, I should say. It's a bit pricey, however, it's worth it um, to have the high quality rack of lamb. Very quick and easy in preparing the lamb. We don't have to do much with it. Like I said, once you get the rack of lamb, there's not much fat you have to take off. He's just really skimming off a um, little bit of the fat. And you can take off as much fat as you want, but fat is good because when we about to grill it, you know, the fat will kind of like melt off. Um, and of course, is part of the juiciness of the lamb, right? Um, my biggest thing with lamb is that I really don't like lamb that's gamey. And so this rack of lamb and the way we're making it, you, it, oh my God, it's like, I never, I usually shy away from lamb because of that reason. But when we taste this rack of lamb, the way that we make it, mm, it's one of our big, big top item at Panache.
dash of panache seasoning, and the lamb is basically ready to go to be grilled, right? Yes, ready for the grill. And then for the lamb, put the fat side down. Right, remember what I said, Al, you all the fat now perfect on the grill. Okay, so how long do the, typically we would have the grill, it, the, the lamb grill for about, for like depending on how minutes, you want it, around right? Around like five minutes, and usually it depends on like the temperature you want that. So if it's like medium rare, we usually just put grill marks on them, but if it's like more on the well done side, we usually try to cook it more on the grill than in the oven. touches on our pistachio custard lamb chop. So we want to put the pistachio on, but before we do that, we have to layer and put, as my son is doing right now, is putting the, the whole grain. grain what is it? What? Whole grain mustard. That's right. That'll be whole grain mustard. And the pistachio must be, must be grained. So you have to have pistachio that's well grained so that when you sprinkle it on, it will stay onto the lamb. Oh, and it's sizzling, it's sizzling. So it's about ready and again, it's depending on how you like it, you know, always, you're gonna take the temperature of it. If you want it well done, you might wanna keep it in a longer. Um, warm, like medium, well. So this is medium well is what we have it right now. And actually that's the best way to eat it is a medium well, you know, um, not too dry, you know, so the well done. I know us Caribbean folks, especially Jamaicans, they love everything well done. But when it comes to lamb and steak, um, the best way to eat it is medium well. So certain, certain proteins should not be well done. That's right, absolutely. Just order chicken. <laughs> Alright, so sometimes we put in our veggie medley, We could, you can throw in apples and pears and you know pineapple different kind of fruit in the veggie and the way i always like it and i always come after he have done to really plate it i like it like right in the middle like like this and then we always want to have our plate nice and clean and then what's added is our rosemary syrup that we make here, rosemary syrup. But you can put different kind of a, um, a garnish on yours. But rosemary syrup is what's served here at Panache. Pistachio la crusted lamb chops on a bed of Panache veggie medley. my husband Titus and he's gonna be making our dash of panache cocktail it's our signature cocktail here at panache and you know my husband is like the bar manager he's the what do you call yourself what you call yourself the toilet cleaner <laughs> I do everything around it. If the garbage need to clean up I take care of that and do a wonderful job at it yeah so but I rely on him to be the bar manager 
And so he knows how to make all the cocktail and he teaches everyone all the cocktails. But this is our signature cocktail, Dash of Panache, and that's what we're gonna be having with our meal today. So go ahead, my dear. Uh, well, as my wife said, our signature cocktail, I like to call it one of many. And this is Panache Dash. So first thing, we have sour mix, some lime juice, tequila, and blue carousel. And uh, we, use, we put it, when we finish, shaking it up, we put it in it. You gotta shake it well, you know, well that everything marinates and well in order. And then now, our glass, you take a, a you know, a little piece of lime, and the glass is chilled. And if martini you don't, glass. It's a martini glass, and if it's not chilled yet, all you have to do is put some ice in it, let it sit for a while, but it's coming out of the fridge. And so we rim the glass in some sea salt. And that's some black sea salt. Yeah. So you notice he put the, the lime on the rim so that when you dip it in the sea salt, it, it holds it. And then the pouring of our, that's kind of like our panache signature color, beautiful blue of the ocean of the Mediterranean. This is a finished product, panache dash. So everything is all done. Now we are ready to eat. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and with my family here. And we just cooked up some salmon croquette, pistachio custard lamb chops, thanks to my chef Kimani over here. He made, did a great job with this pistachio custard lamb chops here. And um, of course, my husband made up this great panache dash which is our signature so i hope you guys will join with us next time as we continue to explore the journey of euro soul cuisine cheers, cheers. we're gonna eat right cheers. all right okay